YouTube. Welcome and welcome back to our channel, The Big King Family. Today, we have a lot of stuff to cover. This is the top of my closet. Yes, ma'am, the top of Yolanda's closet. And what we will do, be doing today is trying our best to get it decluttered. I'm not even going to show the rest of the closet. I just cannot. So, first, let me try to get everything off the top of here, okay? All right, everything is off the top of the closet. Uh, I might get up there and try to wipe it out a little bit. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think I, I think I want to do that. I always, you always want to pull everything out, clean, decolor, and organize. All right, let me get started. Help me with these foot. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, I'm recording now. You run your mouth lab hard. All right, you guys. I'm up here. I'm trying to. At least wipe down some of this stuff you guys things has been so busy around here y'all i ain't really been able to even get a to get a video out or nothing i haven't done my hair haven't did my wash day haven't did my nails but y'all know what god is still good i ain't gonna worry about it i am not gonna worry about it all right you got one thing i really want to tell you guys is that Ducey started a new job he got a little job at Zaspies. Well, you know, we love Zaspies. We're always at Zaspies and stuff. So, he works there. He's really enjoying it. And he's been there a while. A while. He already got first paycheck and everything. She was do Ducey is rolling. I can't get to eat marks off of there that good. I probably should come back in with my right, white eraser. Try to get the marks off of here real good. But, hey, whatever. And since I've been off camera, I have organized some more stuff, you guys. I've done some more. It looks halfway decent, you know. I just want to wipe down what I can. But the last time I used, I think I'm going to come back in with this white eraser to try to get some of the marks off of here. Um, I have been, um, I have been organizing some more spots in the house. I'm going to show you a couple of spots that are organized in the house and that are already been organized and how things are going with the organization. I'm so excited about this area right here. And I'm gonna definitely make sure I use all of my vertical space. I'm gonna try to make sure I use all of that in order to maximize how much stuff I can put up here. All right, never mind. I think Tippy's making a smoothie, but you see just little bitty spots, you know, that I wasn't able to get real good. Little bitty spots. So I'm gonna try to get them with the white magic clean eraser and i'm using my dollar tree bottle this is so nice this is just lemon pine soil and water half lemon pine soil half water and it's really probably about that much lemon pine soil and the rest of it filled with water okay all right it looks pretty good but i still want to try to get these marks off if i can't get it off with the white e eraser you know it's not gonna be a life or death situation right, and i'm back uh what i'll be using is these dollar tree um, the Dollar Tree white eraser markers and the last time I used it <laughs> Excuse me. The last time I used them, they didn't work out that good. So I don't know as you can see it, It's two more in there and I, I already used this one But it told me on the instructions that I can use it wet it and then use it again So I never knew that you could reuse this but you can and I'm gonna see I'm gonna spray that Oh my lord all right now now it's starting to show me what it can do it's taking these marks right on off of here oh lord okay well let me work on these marks on the wall wow it looks like it's coming off you guys so i'll show you before and after This is everything that has come off the top of that closet. I stacked it up right here on my end table. I don't know how it actually got that bad up on the top of the closet, 
But believe you me, I am finna declutter this stuff and straighten it out, okay? So, I'm just gonna get started. I'm gonna try to start doing different piles, like a paper pile and the bigger stuff pile and stuff that I know where I, know where I want it to go. I'm gonna try to get some piles going. Um, there's certain stuff in here I know what I wanna do with it and know what I need it for. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get the piles going right now. All right, you guys. Here is the big pile of trash that I have decluttered out of all that stuff that was on, that was on top of, of my closet. I have decluttered all this trash. This trash right here will go in the trash. Got a clear trash can for it. It'll go in the trash and out the house. Okay, I did sort a lot of the items into piles. So uh, let me show you some more stuff that I, you know, divided up to make it easier for me to sort it and put it away. Okay, we're coming over here on the table. Uh, yeah, uh, my daughter, she's looking at this right here. What she's looking at is my mom's, uh, obituary. That is my mama, one of the Hughes. And on the back, you guys, that's all the sisters on the back. That's all our sisters. Um, she had five girls and it was all of us. Can y'all guess which one is me? All right. <laughs> um, so then, and this is a stack of, a bunch of stack of papers that we gotta, I gotta go through. Uh, these are the flowers that came off her grave. And also, um, uh, right there, I'm going to try to get closer to it, is the, um, is the ornament that my sister Sharon had made for everyone. Right here is a bunch of, of course, biblical um, inspiration, biblical ins inspiration cards, envelopes. I did not know I had. I knew I had some envelopes, but I never knew where they were at. So now it's going to be easy to find. I'm going to help sort it out. I threw away about four to six notebooks right but i kept this one i'm gonna keep one write it down write it down you know uh it tells us in the bible to write it down somewhere in the bible in touch ministries that ministry is through a man called charles stanley he has great biblical insight i mean i do follow him to study and he sends me out these um like like daily um what you call them daily readings or those little pamphlets daily the daily reading pamphlet like that's what this is kind of like right there here's a book from joe Osteen. i do um peaceful on purpose i do study underneath him too a lot of time he's so he's an encouraging speaker so i really appreciate that and this is just an old uh sunday school book that i have not done anything in but if you study and everything if you really study through the sunday school book and then do the discussion do the questions you'll learn more and more about on your walk with Jesus, you'll just learn more and more. All right, so uh, some matches and some uh, crayons. And this right here, it needs to go in a different spot. This is actually a wrist support. I do suffer with um, carpal tunnel. Every once in a while, it only flares up. Only every once in a while. So I try to keep going. A little, some more odds and ends. I know exactly where they're going to go. I have like a beauty box or like a beauty thing um, that I'm going to put all that stuff in. These are the tie backs for the white curtains. These are the tie backs for the white curtains that I have up right now in my living room. And this right here is something, you know when you go through stuff, you find all kinds of stuff. This is something right here that is very near and dear to me. When I first uh, became, well not when I first became a Christian, I had been a Christian for a few, just a few years though, not long. And I had started working and working and working in the church. And I just got a reward, the sharp reward presented to me. Um, for outstanding service with our youth. I was the youth director for a year and just got that award for working. Um, and then uh, these are packages, you know, like uh, mailers. And I'm gonna put this down with my uh, with my paper, my ink paper. And these are a couple of things that's gonna go to the Goodwill. So I'm, uh, I got all that sorted out and I'm finna get it all done. Okay, right in here, I'm doing a lot in the kitchen. This is a box where a lot of stuff is gonna go. Here's a bin where a lot of stuff is gonna go. Oh, I, I forgot to sort that stuff out right there. Um, this is some stuff they're using. There go my shades. I didn't know where they were at. This is a bunch of different things and dividers and stuff to put, to sort out our paperwork. To sort out our paperwork and binders. And I have a drawer in here in the in the kitchen for right now. And then after that, I will get, uh, I, well, I need to get, or like um, my paperwork needs to be organized. They actually have so many different things on Pinterest that shows you different ways to organize your very important paperwork. So I have to get that done. This is a beautiful, beautiful uh, jewelry. This is what you call 
prop money. My my husband had got a little bit of this one time before. It's called prop money. And a lot of times when you see money in those TikTok videos or uh, YouTube videos or even on TV, it is called prop money. This is a jewelry box that was sent to me by a sponsor here on YouTube. And um, love you all my life. Okay, as I was saying, now if I pull this right here out, if I pull it out, that's where the jewelry go. And this is the jewelry box, it's kind of a heart-shaped jewelry box. I think that is so pretty and gorgeous. To me, it just reminds me of my mom. I don't not know why. So it does play music, so I want to go open it, you know, I don't know how that'll go. Now, since I've been gone, I come right back. I'm going to move on down. These are just some beauty items and some pins and stuff, some beauty items. Some different beauty items that I am going to organize and stuff. I got this whole pail to put stuff in. And then these are some bags right here that's going to go into one big bag. And then I can find an organizer to organize out the crayons and the pens. But I got something to do with the beads. This right here that I did earlier with the beads, it did not. <laughs> uh, it fell one day, so I'm going to have to redo it. Now, the box is stuffed and ready to go. This is everything that I'm keeping this in that box right there. But I need like a bigger bin like this to put this stuff in. That way I'll get it out of that box. Okay, you guys. This is a Bible that my mom gave me years and years ago. It's the in, uh, New King James Version Bible. And way to say it. Yeah, it was given to me a long, long, long time ago. So I have written it in and everything. But that is Yolanda Hughes, my mom, and she gave it to me at Christmas of 08. Christmas of 08 is when she gave it to me. Had to be very close to when I first, you know, start um, taking Christianity, Christianity and believing in Jesus very seriously. She bought me a beautiful Bible. And so I am going to keep that. It's near and dear to me. So I do got a lot, a, a little bit more sorting to go through. Okay, you guys. But I'm getting it done. So, that box is done. It's all set. Cleared the table done. off. Everything except this big old focus. Everything except this big stack of paperwork. And I'm just going to go through it right before I go to bed. I'm going to go through it. As you can see, nothing else is left on the table. Except for tinks, uh, salsa, and chips. All right. So everything has been put. So I went ahead and threw away the garbage. I went ahead and threw away the garbage. So I am rolling, rolling, rolling. Let me show you real quick before I come back with the final result. Let me uh, show you really, really quick um, a different uh, places that I've organized in the house. You guys, we are back here in my bedroom. Y'all remember those um, those um, storage containers that I bought, the gray ones? And they really could go into something and pull out or whatnot. But I'm using them for this. Underwear, socks, bras. These are some socks that I could not find the make to. I'm giving them about a month. And if I can't find them, they're going to get trashed. And this is some extra stuff. Just extras that I, I kept, uh, you know, for memories and different things that I can use. So, that looks so nice to me, the way that drawer came out. And I'll go more in depth with this drawer, but I just want to show you guys. I did do my underwear I drawer. I did do Boo's underwear drawer also. I did not know how it would come out. So, we got our bath towels right there, socks. We're going to need, like, two more of those for this drawer right here. I'm going to get them when I go back to Dollar Tree. Believe you me, y'all. So, everything is really coming along. And th these two drawers that I've organized, it's been a blessing to just have them that way. All right, my under the kitchen cabinet has been going pretty good here. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Still look real good, but I do want to get rid of those two green bins. So when I do a little bit more reconstructing, because I got so many cleaning supplies, I need to get more cleaning supplies underneath there. And you see like back over in there where I got the dish towels, if it get wet under there, they're going to be ruined. Um, the sponges are going to be ruined if they stay under there. So I'm going to have to pull them. I'm probably going to have to pull a lot of this stuff that I think may be ruined. All the plastic bottles I can keep. But anyway, the, the under the kitchen organization been going well. That's y'all know that's tea. We're going pretty good in this. You know the spoons, forks, the jelly, mayo, and the ketchup is right there. Then all the rest of that stuff. When I look at this, I do see there's an extra ketchup right there. Sometimes I'm at the 
pull it. But this organization has been going very well. We, we're finna do dishes. That's why there's no plates up there. <laughs> All right. So this is going well also. All right. This is my bag of items. This is health and beauty items like some glosses, press on nails, hair ties, and lip scrubs. You know, just all in that bag. And I need to get a full compartment thingy, kind of like this. They have different compartments in it to separate that out and to organize that. But this is all in one spot. This right here, I just want to tell you guys, I did buy this for Duna, but it don't even really sud up. Do not buy this. It don't sud up. It won't even be good for bubble bath. It, it don't sud up at all. I don't know if it's just water or what was in there. But anyhow, it just didn't work out for us. But anybody that can try. But the Armor Hammer body wash, like for women, it's really good for women and men. It's really good. But this right here for the kids, it just didn't do well for me. I don't know what's going on with it. I don't know what's going on with it. Very gentle, just with baking soda. So maybe it wouldn't set it up. But I really just want a better one for him. A light one, but a better one. I know ivory is probably the way I'm going to end up having to go, period. But as of right now, I'm trying to find something pretty inexpensively until I can... Uh, start getting the ivory and stuff. But sometimes the ivory can be pretty inexpensive. I think it's like a dollar ninety seven at the Dollar General. But okay, I have checked that out. All right. So then this is the um, bin. I just got a lot of stuff zip bagged into here until I can get a big old compartmental thing that I can just organize these different items in. And so it's just they're gonna be just right in there. I'm stacking all this stuff too on top of the uh, closet right after this i'll show you the closet reveal i went ahead and put some stuff in there i got room to grow room to grow a couple of things i can put in there if i need to all right i'm gonna go get this on top of the cloud you guys won't believe how the cloud that looks all right you guys here's the reveal i just stuck those roses right there so they can keep their form i put a couple of blankets up here that were just i had nowhere to put them and i got a few more blankets that can go up here utilize that vertical space okay and i said i was going to get a co uh, container to put all my heather beauty products in and that one also i need to just sort this stuff out even the box so one two three i just need some bigger um bigger like totes that has compart compartments in it to sort out my health and beauty these are like i guess would be memorabilia items and these would be some more health and beauty my bible and my uh biblical uh studies items and just a few things i have sorted out in my purse all right very happy about the outcome i'm gonna show y'all from a, um, a bottom angle also y'all know this looks a little better you know, and this is just the beginning. I still got a lot of organizing to do. I had to uh, declutter it, clean it, and then organize what I had to work with. And now I can get my other bins to help. Now, right here, I'm going to get rid of these plastic hangers right here. And I'm going to get some thin plastic hangers. I do not want the thin velvet. I want the thin plastic hangers to kind of hang my clothes up with. So, so we'll get to that point, we'll get it done. Okay, you guys, we will get that done. All right, you guys, uh, that's the end for this video. Thank you guys for joining me. And um, I still have to go through my paperwork and I have a slew of photos. So those are two things that's not up here that will be going up there. But I have so much vertical space up there. I'm so excited about having all this extra space and knowing exactly where everything is at. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for listening. And until next time, YouTube, stay blessed.